How's it going, guys? I'm um, pretty excited about tonight. I'm excited about the topic that uh, I'm supposed to share on. I'm sorry it's been so long between videos. I'm going to get better at it, I promise. Uh, but tonight is just kind of an introduction to what I believe um, in regards to a specific part of Scripture in general. Um, and the reason why I need to share this first is because the next video I want to do hearing the voice of God and I want to give you guys some advice on what works for me, how I went about it, and in order to go on that journey, I need to give you kind of like some background information. So, let's get started. Um, tonight we're going to talk about one of my favorite subjects, it's healing. It's a touchy subject for some, uh, because it's sometimes not taught, because it's sometimes not believed, because we sometimes believe a lie and that lie being yes, no, or maybe, that God's answers will be yes, no, or maybe. Um, some pastors don't believe in healing. Um, just numerous, numerous reasons, and all they are, they're all hindrances. So I just want to share my truth uh, as I believe it from Scripture. I had a ton of Scriptures I wanted to share with you guys, but as I was praying on it, I felt... Holy Spirit tell me just to share my heart um, and then he simplified it like he just he simplified it made it so easy for me so instead of beating you over the head with scripture after scripture after scripture which there are many 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 scriptures in the New Testament that speaks about healing um, I, I just have one focus that I'm supposed to share with you guys so I believe it is God's will to heal I believe that it is always God's will to heal. I believe that God heals all the time, every time, without a doubt, never question it, never even have to ask yourself, does God want to heal this person? The answer is yes. In Him, uh, it is yes and amen. So, instead of scriptures, um, we are supposed to look at the life of Jesus and some people, for whatever reason, um, you know, there are many reasons why it's not believed today, but for whatever reason, they don't feel that healing is for today. Or they feel that God will sometimes heal, but sometimes won't. And what Holy Spirit told me to do was to tell you to follow Jesus. I know it's very simple. It's almost elementary. I get it. But it's so profound. So I want to say, look at the life of Jesus the reason why I say that is because a lot of us sometimes go to church and we sit in church and what we get is from our pastor and if our pastor doesn't believe in healing he's not going to preach on healing and so if he doesn't believe in healing he's not going to preach on healing you're not going to hear about healing and so you'll think well God can heal if he chooses to heal well that's a lie see it he does choose to heal he sent Jesus and Jesus was an express image of an invisible God Jesus was the will of God made manifest in the flesh on this earth. So if it is in the life of Jesus, it is the will of God. If it is in the life of Jesus, it is meant for your life. Um, and that's profound to me. Uh, such a simple truth can pack so much punch. Um, the reason we don't see everybody healed briefly is because we are still growing up into Him in all things. So, I've heard it said before, and I think it's a great example. If Jesus was in the room and he touched them, that person would be healed. If you can ask that question, then that's what you should shoot for. Um, it's just a good goal to, to always kind of guide yourself with. You know, if Jesus was here, would they be healed? Yes. Then I need to go after that truth. Um, I want to say, if your pastor doesn't believe in healing, it's okay, because you're not following your pastor, you're following Jesus. So, take your Bible, open up your Bible, and read your Bible. Read the New Testament. Read what Jesus has to say about healing. Read what the apostles have to say about healing. Um, just let Holy Spirit expound the truths about healing out of this book, and let that be sowed into your spirit until it births and manifests Christ. Um, it's a touchy subject sometimes, and I just want to keep it brief tonight, like I said. But it's a touchy subject because we have prayed for people and we've lost them. But see, 
We're not called to live by our emotions. And I just want to throw out there, I lost my mom to cancer. And I lost my youngest brother to a drug overdose. So I didn't know the Lord when my mother passed, but I did know the Lord when my brother passed. And those are two completely different experiences. Um, but in hindsight, you know, having known the Lord now for the years that I have and having believed the way that He has blessed me with believing truth, um, we've seen many, 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 many people healed. It is common. It is not some magical, maybe, maybe not type thing. It is a truth that we've established in our hearts. In my heart, I will say, but it, this takes place at my church also. But in my heart, I've established this truth. And this is what I go after. If I see somebody that's sick or hurting, I pray for them. And more often than not, I see people healed. Um, as often as I can lay my hands on them, I see people healed. I've seen blind eyes open. I've seen deaf ears hear. I've seen cancer bow its ugly head to Jesus. I've seen all types of sicknesses go in the name of Jesus. I've seen addicts withdrawing, not wanting to leave the prayer meeting that we were all at because the moment they stepped out of the house, they felt dope sick again. And as soon as they came back into the house and was back into prayer, they weren't sick. So just a lot of supernatural things, and it's just God's will to heal. And I want to establish that because in order to share with you how I hear the voice of God, you need to know that I believe it is God's will always, always, always. Yesterday, today, tomorrow, always the same, never changing. It is His will to heal. So I look forward to sharing with you some more in the next video. Um, it's okay if you disagree. You can leave your comments. You can leave your questions, your concerns uh, in the comments section. Um, I'll respond to as many as I can. But also I would recommend you sitting with Holy Spirit and asking yourself, God, is this your will? Uh, and I promise you he will open you up to a beautiful truth. Love you guys. Talk